Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today's video is going to be the haul that I promised you from before the holidays on the items I picked up for like the after Christmas sales. Sephora had their sale on sale items and then I picked up some stuff from Ulta and I think I also have some stuff from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So got a good little bit of things for you guys I can't wait to share. But before we get into the video, if you're new here, please, I'd love to have you join the family. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time that I upload. I upload videos twice a week and they mainly consist of beauty hauls, tutorials, reviews, a lot of makeup with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you're into that, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see what I picked up during the holiday sales, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I was going to try to split this up between like, oh, I bought this at Sephora, oh, I bought this at Ulta, yada, 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 but it's all mixed up. So we're just going to go through it because I don't want this video to be too long. So the first thing that I picked up, I picked up some skincare items. This first product is the Wishful Limited Edition Favorites and it's a brightening kit. So this is what the box looks like. And I got this because I had been wanting to try the brand, but I didn't want to get full size products and not know if I like them or not. So this comes with their Glow Enzyme Scrub their Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer, and their Get Even Rose Oil. I was mostly excited about the rose oil and the scrub. And I like that this actually has the expiration date on the outside of the box. Like I've said before, these smaller size products I tend to keep in my travel bag. So these are the products right here. It's pretty good sizes for these. It's not that small at all. This is the Honey Balm. This is the exfoliator and this is the oil. So this will be perfect for my travel bags. The next thing I picked up is this Saturday Skin Vitamin C Sleep Mask. It's the Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. This is what the box looks like. And I've been loving using sleeping masks. I feel like my face doesn't feel as dry at night. This is what it looks like. This is the packaging, super cute and it basically just says apply after your moisturizer leave on overnight you can use it three to five times a week so i will definitely be using this regularly i actually have a few sleeping masks some i like more than others but i like this one because it says brightening now that i'm not having issues with acne really anymore i still have the hyperpigmentation so i'm just working on lightening that up the next thing I picked up, I know this also was from Sephora. This is the Cora Organics Instant Facial Glow on the Go. We're noticing a trend already. This is a set that has a brightening and exfoliating mask. That's a two-in-one and a Noni Glow Face Oil. So this is what the box looks like. And then again, these are also smaller size products. So also would be great to put in my travel bag or in my spin a night bag y'all know how that is gotta get your skincare wherever you are so yeah this is the mask this is the oil have never tried this brand before so now i feel like it's the perfect time when you can get it on sale and like i said i like the smaller ones because if it breaks me out i didn't waste money on a full-size product I also picked this up from Sephora. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. I got the shade Blend 4.35W. I picked this up because it's originally $40 and it was on sale for $20. And I wasn't sure about the shade, but I watched Makeup Shayla's video and we're usually pretty close in shades. So she actually tried this when it first came out and said that if there was an in-between between like 4.3 and 4.4, it would be perfect. And then this came out. So I know this isn't new, but I just wanted to show you guys. 
this is what the shade looks back like on the back of my hand a little warm a little dark but y'all know I prefer that once I blend that in you almost can't even see that so and I don't have my tan right now so this will probably be closer to a summer shade or summer fading shade but I'm curious to see how this is gonna work when my skin goes back to normal I also picked up another duo of the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is my absolute favorite spray. And the crazy thing is I stopped using it because like I've been saying, my face has been dry since I've been on the Accutane. And I don't know why I thought this was going to mattify my skin and make it worse. But they have their D-Slick Spray, which is the mattifying. I read that this one actually helps keep your makeup from settling into fine lines. This little mess I've been having going on up here. So I was like, Barbara, you have like eight bottles of this. I honestly did not need to buy another bottle of this, especially not two, because I think I have like six backups. I buy doubles every time it's on sale. So yeah, I have more and I'm definitely going to go back to using this more often because this is one of my favorites. I bought this on a whim and the crazy thing is... I looked at it, I've looked at this. This is the Patrick Star One Size Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. I looked at this when it first came out and I told myself, I don't need it. And then it went on sale and I said, I don't need it. And then it went on sale even more. And I was like, well, and then the 20% off. So I was like, you know, you don't need it. I had it in my cart and then I was like, I'm not getting it. I have those shades already not that big of a deal you weren't that impressed in the store no I thought I took it out of my cart <laughs> apparently I did not so I got this palette and the thing is like I'm not upset that I got it because these colors are all my jam like I'm not mad at this at all especially these olive colors and that pop of blue I mean this is what I wear. Like, these are my colors, right? So I'm not upset that I got it. It's just funny to me that I guess subconsciously I was determined to get it because it stayed in my cart and I ended up with it anyway. So I know you guys have seen this before. I want to swatch this green. I want to swatch this blue. And I want to swatch this rebel gray. So those are the three swatches. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous. And then on the back of my hand, ooh, that blue, it actually feels kind of dry, but that's the pigmentation for it. And then look how much is still on my finger. So that's kind of crazy. Like all of them still have some on my finger. So I cannot wait to use that. I guess it was meant to be for me to have it. I also picked up this Tarte Hydro Sealer, Tarte C Hydro Sealer. I picked it up in the shade 32 and medium neutral. I picked up this set particularly because it was on sale and this is a full size of the concealer, but the concealer wasn't on sale. So getting this set actually was cheaper than getting the concealer and I got the additional 20% off. This came with a mascara and I don't know anything about this mascara, but y'all know this one says Surfer Curl, so I guess it's a curling mascara. Volumizing, it says on the back. So I've never tried this. Let me know if you guys have tried this one before. I've been into mascara since my lashes are growing. And then this concealer. Thankfully, I was able to get help in the store with this one. It has a standard doe foot applicator and this is what the shade looks like. That's my shade. I started to say it looks a little light. It looks a little light on camera, but y'all know how I do, do my concealer. It's always a little light, but by the time I blend it out, which is a lot, it ends up looking okay. So I'm going to have to see how the coverage is on this because I do not know, but it says America's number one concealer brand. I guess because it's Tarte Shape Tape. I almost said Shart. Oh Lord. Anyway, so I'll keep you guys posted on this one. I picked up another concealer. This is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. And I had so much trouble opening this box. It is mangled, but this is what the box looks like. 
And then this is what the packaging looks like. Y'all know Marc Jacobs, very expensive. And this is the shade of the concealer. And this concealer is very creamy. And it's also not as light as the other one. So I don't know what the coverage is going to be like. It says it's a touch-up stick and a concealer, but I bought it for a concealer shade because this thing is way too small to try to use on my face. So from Sephora, I also picked up this Huda Beauty. This is her Life Liner, the Duo Eyeliner Pencil and Liquid. This I think was like 20 bucks and it was on sale, or 24 bucks, it was on sale for $12. And then I got the 20% off. So this was mainly just because I wanted to try it. So it's dual ended, if I can open it. This end is the pencil. And I will swatch that. Very dark, very creamy. Oh, you pull for the pencil, twist for the liquid liner. You know how reading is fundamental? I would be so much better off if I did sometimes. This is a brush tip liner, but it's kind of flimsy. Like, I feel like this would be hard to draw a wing with, so I don't know, but these are the two right there. The big one I was trying to see if I could draw a wing on this side is the liquid. But both of them are very dark, so that is good. The next few items I picked up from, these are from TJ Maxx. The first thing I picked up was the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser. I was looking at this when it was on sale on Ulta's website. They had it for like a one day sale and it was 20 bucks. I got this for $8. And so as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, getting it. So in my mind, I know I'm spending money. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like I'm saving money because I didn't pay full price. And I didn't even pay the sale price. So it was a win and I wanted to try it. So I got that. I also picked up this MAC lipstick. This is the Love Me lipstick and this is in the shade Coffee and Sigs. This is what it looks like. I did get this from TJ Maxx for $8. This says Back to Mac. And I know Mac has that program where if you bring back a certain number of empties, you can get a new item in exchange. Y'all, somebody please let me know how that works. I don't shop at Mac. Not for any reason in particular. It's just, honestly, their foundation does not match me. And years ago when I tried it, I think it broke me out. So I just pretty much quit shopping at Mac altogether. But anyway, this is what the lipstick looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous brown. But when I swatch it, it is really creamy and it comes off almost like a cool toned mauve brown. I don't know, but I just thought it was pretty. So for $8 for a MAC lipstick, it still smells like MAC, so it's not old or anything like that. I thought that was a great deal. I also found, and I was super excited about this. This is the Uoma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick. I already have one of these, but I picked up the one that was for Bronze Venus, which is, the highlighter looks good on me for the contour. The shade is a little too, it's too light for a contour for me. I think it looks good maybe for a bronzer, but once I blend it out, it doesn't really look like it's sculpting anything. But baby, this brown sugar, she is dark. <laughs> y'all, when I tell y'all I'm going to have to be careful, where am I going with this? Somebody let me know. Who are you contouring, Barbara? Surely not yourself because that is not, I mean, this is one of those that I'm going to have to use with a light hand. Y'all have seen me before. Look how dark that is. That is so rich and pigmented, so... I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna probably use this off camera first to make sure I don't play myself on camera and then show you guys. This is the highlighter. It is a gold, like straight up gold. And that is what it looks like there. Super pretty though. And it's not like too pigmented. It's just a nice sheen with a little wash of gold, if that makes sense. But both of them are super creamy, so... I'm just glad I found it. Now I have both of them. Maybe I can use them together, but you'll see it. I just need to play with it first. Then when I was getting ready to check out, 
I found these lashes just sitting. So of course I was like, oh, $6 Morphe lashes. These are what they look like. Y'all know this is my jam. This is pretty much like every other pair that I have recently purchased. I didn't know Morphe made lashes. So these are the Malibu lashes. I don't know if that band, the band doesn't look too thick. Looks like these should be easy to put on, but I don't know. I thought they were cute, kind of natural, just long and wispy. And that's the style that I like. This is a little random, but I was in CVS picking up some biotin for my hair and I wanted to get another color corrector because I have my e.l.f. one that's like a stick and then I have my LA girl one, but I'm running low on that one. And so I saw that Black Radiance has this True Complexion HD corrector and this is, it just doesn't say, it tells you how to use it, but it doesn't say, but this is orange. I think they had the names on the display. It has the same kind of applicator as the LA Girl, and this is definitely orange. So that will be good for color correcting on my skin tone and deeper. And then they also had a lighter one. So I'm not sure how this formula works in terms of how it blends out no. it's creamy i think it's creamier than the la girl one but i'll have to put it on my face and you know see how it works like that but just from putting it on my hand it looks like it's gonna be good it's not too drying but it still keeps its coverage a bit even after i spread it out so we'll see and now we're gonna move into the products that i bought from ulta i could not wait to try this. I've seen so many reviews. This is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I got the shade Deep 540N, and it says with neutral warm undertones. This says that it has skin loving ingredients and it is a color correcting full coverage natural finish. I have heard that this is like the IT CC Cream, but I don't wear that one because I think I'm in between shades. They came out with a new shade. I forgot the name of it, Rich Honey or something like that. And I was just like, mm, for that price, I just don't feel like it's worth it. And I feel like I have to make the shade work. This is like $14. And I just, I felt like if I was gonna try something like this, I would rather pay that amount. That's what the shade looks like. And then when I blend it out, y'all, this is like per, Perfection. Perfect for me. So I was really excited when I got home and saw that the shade matched that well. And I cannot wait to wear it because all the reviews I've seen on it are good. And I think that it is going to do well with my skin even when it isn't as dry. I also picked up a detangling comb. This is by Babyliss Pro and Conair. I just, I like combs like this for when I wash my hair and need to detangle it. I keep one in my shower. This is what this one looks like. It's not a big deal. It's plastic, but I don't know why I feel like these detangle my hair better than any other wide tooth comb that I've used. And I have, I think three of them now. So one stays in the shower and I comb my hair out with the conditioner in it because that just helps detangle it better. And then I have one that I use for every day and then one in my travel bag. So this one was on sale, I think for $6. This next item was kind of an impulse buy. This is the Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Better Not Bitter Palette. This was on sale, it was $38. I think it was on sale for $19. And honestly, yes, I have swatched this. I just, something about the shades in here that I was just like, I have to see what this is about. And I don't know that I've seen that many reviews on it, but I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you can see. But these shades are so pigmented and they feel so smooth. So these are the four shades right here. This is Deja Brew, this is Anti Depresso, this is Your Grounded, and this is Levita Mocha. La Vida Mocha, y'all know, is my, like, my kind of blush shade. I'm not sure what Deja Brew is supposed to be because you can barely see that on me. That's not a bronzer, but I don't know. 
So that's Deja Brew. This is Antidepresso. This is your Grounded. And then that's La Vida Mocha. So I don't know what that shade's supposed to be for. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Maybe like lightly all over the face? Hmm, I don't know. But these other shades? Three out of four. And they're all pigmented, all smooth, all so, like it has a sheen to it. But I don't think it's going to make me look like Tin Man shiny. So I just wanted to try it. That's my excuse for everything. I'm not going to sit there and tell y'all I needed it because we all know I don't. I wanted to try it and why not while it's on sale. I have more Ulta stuff, but one day they were running a promotion when I ordered this stuff that if you ordered, I think 50 bucks or something like that, then you got a free Too Faced Damn That Sexy Mascara. So it comes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and then a sample size of the Damn Girl Mascara. I've tried the Better Than Sex. I like it, but I think it flakes on me. So I've never tried the other one and I've heard that that one's good too. So I figure I can still wear it. I just need to be careful, but either way it was free. So it's not like I spent money and it's going to go to waste if that makes sense. And then I also got this. I don't remember why I got this. Oh, I didn't put hair care stuff in here, but I did buy, they're having their jumbo sale right now, jumbo love. And I bought the Redken All Soft. I absolutely love that conditioner. So I bought the shampoo and the conditioner. And then I bought the Redken Extreme shampoo and conditioner as well. And if you spent $30 on Redken, you got this little set. So this is the Extreme shampoo conditioner. And then their United one. It's almost like the, it's their version of the It's a 10. I use this every single time I wash my hair. I have two big bottles and this little bottle. So this will be in my travel set. I am so happy that I am at the end of my Accutane. Today is the 13th, January 13th. And I literally have like three days left of medicine. And then my doctor said within like two weeks, the dryness on my lips should be gone. And then the medicine takes about a month before it's out of your system. But she said it'll still take a couple months before I see my skin go back to normal and not be as dry. So six months, finally done. But I still love lip products, moisturizing products. So I picked up this ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil. This one says it's in the shade Local Time. It kind of reminded me of the Lifter Glosses. The Maybelline Lifter Glosses and I love those so as you can see this one has a little bit of shimmer in it but I just wanted to get it because like I said I've been into these and it was on sale so yes. I also picked up this Becca Hydrolite Lip Smoothing Scrub. This is what the box looks like for this. I've never tried this. I've never tried any of their Hydrolite stuff. I don't know if this is kind of like their skin love. You know, I love the primer, but This is what it looks like just a tube. I don't know that I've seen a scrub come in packaging like this But I'm gonna put this on the inside. Oh, it's blue That's what it looks like and Okay, it is kind of scrubby. I thought it was gonna be just like gel. But I don't know if you can see the little sugar particles in there so that's what it looks like nyx also had their epic ink liner on sale this is a waterproof liner and i guess this is some limited edition special packaging that they had it says that it is in black and i've heard that this is really really good i've never tried it before I did try, I actually just found the brown one. I had bought it, I don't know when. And I feel like I wanted to bring it back because it wasn't dark enough. But I don't know about this one. I've heard a lot of people say that this one is really good. Of course, I can't open it. So this is what it looks like. I like this packaging. It's cute. Not your standard. Yes, it is a brush. Mm, that looks pretty black. 
and it says it's waterproof so we will see y'all know i love my brush tips and 90 percent of the time i have a wing on 99 i'm not gonna lie 99 so we'll see but has good reviews so i'm excited to try that i also picked up this ulta beauty nourishing face primer it says with coq10 to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and vitamin rich natural oils to hydrate the skin so this is what the bottle looks like i just didn't know that they had a primer oil so i wanted to try it that is all i also picked up this mac fix plus awaken setting spray i don't think i have any fix plus i just i've never used it on my face because it's not a setting spray and i do not believe in spending that much money on a spray to use with an eyeshadow so i've never felt like i needed it but this one says that it has a it's like an aromatherapy so this one's supposed to be awakening i like the smell of it i can't tell you what it is what the smell is like what it reminds me of but it's supposed to be like a kind of pick me up energizing so i like the fact that it's also purple but I don't know i'll probably use it before i do my makeup and not after especially since i'm going back to using my urban decay but it was on sale it's a little small size i wanted to try it this next item was a bit of a impulse buy um j cat which is a lower end affordable brand they had their skin insurance max coverage silky foundation I got mine in the shade Sweet Cocoa. This was on sale and you can use your Ulta coupon, the 350 off coupon with this as well. This says that it is weightless, long lasting, and it has a luminous natural glow. I picked it up mainly because it said that it was long lasting and it was luminous. A lot of times with the more radiant foundations, they don't last as long. This does come with a pump, not mad at that. I think this shade is a little too dark. Oh, maybe not. And the bad thing is you can only get this one online. This is what the shade looks like here. And then, hmm, she is thick. I didn't think I put that much, but that is what the shade looks like. I don't, that's not too dark. But baby, that's some coverage. Hmm. That pretty much just, that almost covers up that line, the waterproof line. So yeah, that's some coverage. So now I'm super excited to try that because I didn't think it was going to be that good. Two more things from Ulta. One of them is the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Liner. This is the Intense Stay Auto Liner in the shade Deepest Brown. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when I do eyeshadow looks, I rarely ever use black in my waterline, in my lower waterline. So I've just been looking for dark brown liners. This is what it looks like. And it is a retractable pencil, which I like. Yeah, that's a dark brown. So that is gonna be perfect. And last but not least from Ulta. Ta-da! Y'all know I had to get this, right? Like, I stalked it. I got it. I'm mad because right now it's on sale for like $45. And I bought it. I had a 20% off coupon, but it was 25%, 20% off of $65, which is only $13 off. So I still paid, what, $52? Yeah, $52 for it. And now it's on sale for $45. Everything in me wants to bring it back and get it at the cheaper price, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I don't know shit. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to have this because I've been on my cool tone kick. And so they decided to bring this back when all the cool tone palettes came out. This is the sultry palette. A lot of people have it already. It wasn't available. And then they brought it back for the holiday. So I have FOMO really bad when it comes to some makeup stuff, especially limited edition stuff if it comes back. So it wasn't if I was going to get this, it was just when. 
And I really thought it was going to sell out. And then there's it's still there and on sale. So I'm sure you guys have seen this before. If you don't have it already, this is what the palette looks like. Absolutely beautiful, cool tones. Get this out of the way. So there you see it. I just wanted it and I'm happy I have it. And then it also came because it has this vault, it's a little kit. So it came with the mascara, the eyeliner and the primer. I really wanted to try the mascara whoa, because I heard that it was a lot like the Fenty mascara and I love that one. So I just want to see if the hype is real, but yes, I needed to have this. Yes needed the last thing i want to talk to you guys about which probably this isn't the best time but i don't know because my nails are not done but i found out about color street nail polish strips over the holidays and i decided to pick up some <laughs> so these are basically real nail polish but they come in strips. So these are supposed to last longer than nail polish. They're not gonna fade or chip. I have tried these on before with acrylics and they lasted a long time, no fading, no peeling. So I'm curious to see if I can wear them on my nails. My nails are just trash, they're really short. But I picked up Suit Yourself, which is this houndstooth pattern. And I'm trying to show you guys because it is kind of like a multi-chrome you can see right there it kind of goes from like a light blue to a dark blue almost purple so that's why I wanted it and then I picked up this one's called rust worthy which I just thought this was a really pretty color it's like a rust with I don't know what this pattern is but it's like it's shiny but it has like a darker red on top of the coral so just thought that was a good neutral. Then I got Blue in Peru, which I think this one's kind of a, I don't know if it's a duochrome or it's just the glitter that makes it look that way, but it is a navy blue. And I hate this flash from the lights is kind of messing it up, but that's the shade there. And then I picked up Soho, oh, Soho over it, Soho over it, like so over it. And this one is another multi-chrome. Y'all know me and my shifts in different colors. It makes me feel like I'm wearing two different things. So this one also has glitter in it. They do have matte shades. I just didn't get any. This one was probably my favorite. This is Smokes On You. And it is purple. And it has a smoke pattern in it. There, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. But absolutely gorgeous. Then I picked up Moon River, which is, it's like a dark gray, almost black, but it has bigger glitter chunks. I would probably use this mainly as an accent shade. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the picture that I posted with my metal was my nails done with these two shades. These are Holidays and New York Minute. So these are those two shades. This is Holidays. Am I saying that right? Probably not. Yeah, this is Holidays. So it's a pretty purple, a little bit of ship glitter in it, shimmer, but not a lot. And then this is New York Minute. So I picked the purple one because it has the same kind of glitter in it. My Color Street stylist, salesperson, I'm not sure the name of it for them, but my Color Street contact is Latoya Pope Cummings, and I will list her information down below. She literally has like every color in stock, and you can just show her one, and she can tell you what the name of it is without even looking at the packet. Like, she is on it, she knows her stuff, and she runs sales a lot. So if you're interested in trying these, I seriously suggest you contact her. Again, I'll put our info down below, but if you have trouble keeping your nails polished and you want something that's going to last a little longer, try them. All right, guys, that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the products I picked up. 
I actually have been holding on to this stuff for a little while and I haven't played in any of it because I've been waiting, being a good girl, being a good YouTuber, so I could show them to you on camera. I swatched, but I didn't apply anything. So I hope y'all appreciate that. Feel like we got to try them out and experience it together. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.